down, soldier. Inside our walls, we are at peace. But outside, it's savage, nasty, brutish, and short. We are men and women of medicine, of science. Together, we are the Corpsmen. Hello, hello, everybody. It is me, back again, with another new roguelike. Now, this game, The Corpsman, was lovingly uh, sent my way by the people over at Multicell Games. It has a very interesting premise, though. It's not like a, a deck builder, but in more of a Frankenstein-esque uh, gameplay. So the idea is... It, it, it you build your monsters a team of monsters from the other monsters that you uh, kill and so you get your your cards like that um, by basically stitching your enemies with your allies it has a very very cool concept I've been kind of looking at it a little bit um, this is the first time I'm really loading the game up because like always anytime I get a brand new game I always like to start it with you guys so we can all kind of see how it runs together for the first time but I have seen some of the artwork it looks really cool really interesting uh, but without further ado let's jump into the corpsman <clears throat> both really good drawn characters um, though I like the bone saw. Here we go male. Uh, as always, we are going to go with our default name. Story time. Oh, he's cute. I want one. I want one of those, too. It's like a badger bear with a clock on his back. Okay. It was a raptor lizard and like a, a wolf goat. The city of Summerlee. Finally, a fully registered corpsman. Mother and father would be proud. All right, time to head to the mess. The mess, that's actually a, an area in the, in the game called the mess. All right. Okay, I like the style. This is given like very Attack on Titan. You know, but I like the style. All right, the mess. Hello? Private Fissure reporting for duty. Oh, it's like a dragon weasel? I am really enjoying some of the, the artwork here. Hello there. Welcome to the Revivication Service Center. But most people just call us The Mess. I am Dr. Mary Sue. Ooh, it would have been better if she was Mary Shelley. That would have been a... First day on the job, Private? Yes, ma'am. Private Fisher, ma'am. Don't make a ma'am sandwich, and I'll only bother to remember your name if you make it back from your first mission. Wait. What? Please follow me quickly. There are a lot of enlisted joining us today, so we will have little time for the procedure. Uh, yes, ma'am. All right, this is your Living Construct Harvesting Index. Okay, here's where you catalog the creature parts you have managed to harvest and bring back. And before you even ask, no, your fellow corpsmen are not things you can harvest, no matter how vile they may be. Stupid rules, nice. 
Now, if you look carefully here, you can see that the castle has three key creatures cataloged for you to use. This is the standard creature combination for all new corpsemen. So we've got a lizard, uh, this area over here is where you construct your creation. I was looking at the bodies, but she moved over in front of the way. Start with the body, like so, and just fill out the rest, like you would your taxes. Pretty self-explanatory. This is actually a better um, uh, teaching of how to do this than they teach you how to do your taxes. Once you are done, just confirm the parts you're using with us and register your adorable abomination once it is walking around. All right, go for it. I'll be waiting outside at my desk. Oh. Ma'am, I have a... a bloody hell. Okay. Okay. So each body part does different things and will develop skills as the... Um, living construct develops? Right. Oh. Claw. Okay. Each body part usually have key features like claws, teeth, hooves, or fangs. These features will allow you to your newly created creatures to unlock different types of moves. So choose carefully what body parts you give them. Okay. Okay, so I don't... Oh, you have small, medium, large... Poison? I like the sound of that. Now, now here's the thing. I would absolutely love, like, maybe other sort of elemental body types too okay so we've got a lizard we've got a goat we've got what looks like a, a wolf or maybe this is a wolf and I don't I don't know we're gonna go with this one okay oh it's a cat so this is going to give us fangs. That gives fangs. This one gives horns and teeth. Um, that gives us a hoof. That gives us claws, hind legs. Yep. Tail. Okay, so this one actually gives us a tail swipe. Definitely think that would be kind of cool. Um, let's see. So, beak, teeth, fang, poison, and horn. We're going to probably need some extra oomph in what we're kind of doing. Uh, front leg, I think I'm definitely going to go with the, um, the claw aspect. Hind leg. Hind leg, though, if we add the hooves as hind legs, those will kick harder, as well as if we're trying to go for... Um, speed hooves will give a nice like burst of speed at least that's what the way I would I would feel like it is okay so we've got horns teeth claw hooves and tail got a pretty good mashup I believe uh oh uh oh she's alive A chunk. It's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Come on, if you're, I'm old. Okay, so if you haven't seen Young Frankenstein yet, I advise you to go do that. I've created life. All right. Oh, we get to name it too. Oof, oof. Um, um. Let's. Uh... We're gonna call it Buddy. Okay. So I better make sure to imprint it on some basic skills. Uh, should I go with something more aggressive? Or defensive. Huh. 
I made him aggressive. So that's that's the way I would go. Okay, card type. 626 six gains two toughness. Draw three cards, heal two damage. Uh, when you first give life to your creatures, you will need to instill in them four basic moves, which they can perform. They are distilled into cards, which you can then use to give commands. Uh, these are the three types of moves your characters can learn. So we've got attack, skill, power. Attack, skill, and power. Each move your cre creatures learn and use will affect their personalities. Oh, the more you make them use a move, the more they will adapt that behavior. Huh. There are three identif identifiable personalities. Aggressive. First is the aggressive personality. Having them learn and use attack moves will usually make them more aggressive, allowing them to learn more aggressive moves in the future. Oh, he even has the definition for aggressive here, if you didn't already know. Threats or harmful actions directed toward another being. Another, okay, that's probably being instead of bring, but that's fine. And can include threat displays, lunging, biting, punching, stomping, and kicking. It also implies a disposition to dominate, often in disregard of others' rights or in determined and energetic pursuit of one's ends. Cool. Uh, cunning personality. Second is cunning personality. Having them learn and use skills will usually make them more cunning, allowing them to learn more cunning moves in the future. Uh, skills employed in a shrewd, crafty, sly, deceiving, guileful, or dexterous manner to get what they want, especially by tricking others or, no, or through use of special resources, such as knowledge, towards attaining an end. Stubborn. This is a stu Oh, you get an armadillo? My guy! Ha! Huh. Third is a stubborn personality. Having them learn and use power moves and skills with block will usually make them more stubborn, allowing them to learn more stubborn moves in the future. Oh. Can you imagine a porcupine armadillo? Right? Huge, like, hard plates on them, but spikes coming out the back? Yes. Okay. Stubborn. Showing dogged determination not to yield, obey, or comply, to firmly resist or to be resolute, obstinate, or persist in spite of good reasons not to. Uh, I'll take things that my youngest daughter portrays for 600, Alex. Ailments. Be careful out there, though, as you can contract ailment cards that have a variety of detrimental effects. Unplayable onset, you get a week. Impetus, cost a random card. Okay. Some ailments can go away on their own, whilst others only worsen over time before they finally abate. Or worse, are here to stay. You can't know until it's run, it's, until it's run its course, you can remove them at the fugue, but at the cost of your monster's max health. Okay, so, um... None. Uh, toughness increased block applied by the number of tokens. One special four skills played by the monster. Uh, I will pick the one defend because I am going to need some block there. Gore. Deal 10 damage. Strength is a. Oh, okay. Well, then I need a strength in before I get a gore. Tail whip. Chomp. Uh, oh, weak. Yeah, we're going chomp. Ride by. Deal three damage. Discard top two cards of your draw pile. No, I think we're going to go ahead and head up with another chomp. Ah, I see you're all done then. Nice laugh. Lots of gusto in it. Yes, thank you, ma'am. I'm all done. I named it Buddy. Oh, you named it. Well, I suppose that is your decision, I guess. Anyway, I know you young kids have short attention spans and time today is short. So I will let you borrow two creatures from the pers uh, from the preserve for you to use on your first mission. Oh, oh. This is experiment 626 and 627, respectively. May they serve you better than they did their maker. Oh, well, what happened to them? Uh, monster chow. 
try not to get your, yourself killed out there. I would hate to have wasted my time on a pre-corpse. Now please, have it over to dispatch. The man is a stickler for time. Okay, so I get two extra ones. Yes, ma'am. Man, that lady is abrupt. Well, better do what the lady said. That took me longer than expected. Dispatch is due east. Better start running. Dispatch. Right there. I guess vellum is money. I'd like to actually see... Well, I guess I can't see them just yet. Look, I want to see my creations, my creatures. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is how we do it. Okay, so that's buddy. This one is 626. What do we got? Chop, scratch, scratch, quick reflex, pad, uh, toughen, stomp, wall of flesh, and defend. Okay. Apply eight block to all, gain two threats. So he's our blocker. Okay, so I've basically got um, attack, attack, defense. But I have a little bit of a defense here. I can create a monster for stables in these areas, but I don't really need to. So, you can go, you can go, and you can go. All right, we need some more stuff. We got quests or something? Private Fisher, you're late. Yeah, I know. It's nine on the dot, sir. Son, if you're not early, you're late. You ain't early. Sorry, sir. Learn from your mistakes now, kid, because right now it's free. Later on, these lessons will cost you an arm and a leg. Are you ready for your first mission, Private? Uh, yes, sir. Wetland, forest, and mountains. All right, kiddo, this is the quest board. This is where you'll grab your mission. First, you want to look at the environment your mission is going to be in. There are four kinds of missions. Easy, standard, hard, and hellish. Easy and standard missions are the non-city crucial jobs. This means that you can retreat from them when the going gets tough without much concern. The hard and hellish missions are where the monsters are stronger than normal and where you either complete the mission or die trying. Let's start you off with an easy mission. Hey, thanks. Here you can see that there are different links of missions as well as what you will get from the city should you complete the mission. Now go. Time's a wasted. I said hustle. Well, yes, sir. All right, boy. Here's your mission map. You can see that your mission traverses across different biomes. So plan your team and your route to the mission objective properly. Okay, this is your basic roguelike. Ah, brings back memories. All right, here is your first lesson. Keep your commands quick and clear, and most importantly, don't die. All right, kiddo, now go break a leg. Huh. All right, so this is the Fog of War, so we don't know really what's going on over there. We have to get a little bit closer. Um, I, these are going to be elites? Like, right off the bat, too. Let's grab a couple of regular fights first before we hit the elite so we kind of know what we're doing. Oh, Scar Bear. All right, looks like he's going to hit me. He's got uh, Stamp, Defend, and Toughen. I can use Weak, though. So I'll do less damage. Give me a couple of those. Here goes that. Can I not use it on him? Or is that what I've been using? It's these little impetus. Okay, so it looks like he's going to be getting minus eight. This is a, an interesting little layout, though. I kind of like it. So, 
toughness, strength, I added two strength here. Uh, HP is 50. I'm gonna do, yeah, eight damage. He's gonna have six block. HP is 55. But I don't have enough impetus to do any cards. I didn't realize that they're, they were separated like this. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Who are you going to attack next? You are going to increase, it looks like, your toughness. So we are... I don't know if... Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know if it stays. Normally games like this, the block will leave after the turn. But no, it looks like it's pretty good. I took away the, the, uh, the weak I have, though. Alright, so there's nine. Now I can use Wall of Flesh again to give more block. Yeah, let's do that. Cards there. You're gonna try to up your block again. Let me put some flex. Stop is gonna do a lot more damage. Oh, I should have used him because I do have strength still. Two, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of that damage, but I wanted to go ahead and give me some toughness. Do a little bit of that. 16 damage. Okay. <clears throat> We're definitely going to use the wall of flesh because we want that to happen. We need to break through. All right. I really can't use the quick reflexes because it's not going to, unless it gives me another. Okay. It'll give me another scratch. Not bad. All right, first bear done. I discovered a claw. Oh, you failed to. In, 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 never mind. But I did get six pounds of flesh. Nobody leveled up anything yet. Excellent job, Private Fissure. You didn't die. Now remember, although you cannot retreat during a fight, you can do so when it is over. If you feel like you cannot go go on, just backtrack to fight another day. That's kind of cool. I like that. Though doing so will fail the mission, we will confiscate all the goodies that you have gotten along the way as penalty. But at least your critters will be alive and both you and them will have learned something. Got it? Now, does that mean that if they level up during that time, I still keep the level up? Because sometimes... Like, I can deal with dropping goodies if I keep the experience gained along the way. Yes, sir. Good. Now I'm heading back. Is that it? You want following me or giving me more guidance? Nope. I believe in learning on the job and never repeating the same mistake twice. See, I lost one limb, and then I never lost another one. But he's got a, a monkey to help him out with his other arm. That's pretty cool. Now get to it. I have paperwork. All, all right. All right, so we are definitely going to get... I don't... I wish block can be used on... Okay, I guess it can. Interesting. So what do we got? Who is... Okay, who is hitting who? You're hitting me. So I need to go ahead and... At least bring you down some. I gave 66 a block. Not bad, not bad. Definitely 
probably gonna add some block there. I stack the weak, I guess, a little bit. Okay, that's that's not gonna be good. This will help out a little bit. Yeah, okay. Keep the week coming. Maybe I can get a zero. Nope. You, oh, you are now stunned. That sucks. We're gonna grab you there. Looks like you're also stunned. Done a man. Quick reflexes. Okay, so I'm getting hit up there. We're just gonna keep attacking this guy here. Yeah. Got a little bit more block. Since 67 is still stunned. It looks like he's bleeding. He is bleeding. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. All right, we killed him. We need him now. Okay, that's pretty good. That was a pretty good round. right now is what's hurting me the most. Oh, I got a new body. 626 to become more aggressive. Awesome. Okay, I can learn a new skill or a card can be upgraded. So scratch can go up. Tail whip. Definitely tail whip. Oh, I can do both. We are adding bleed. Oh, I can do the other one. And yeah. Definitely. Okay. On to our first elite battle. Let's see how we're going to run out of this. Tri horned goat. Okay, so it looks like they're just going to. Um, Gain some defense out. Alright, they are still gaining some defense up. I mean, probably I should do the same. Alright, now they are attacking. And they are going after my boy. More defense going up. Okay, we can deal with that. Gonna add some chomps. Five damage to all, or four damage and apply weak. I do want to um, stack some weak. So, what do we got? You are definitely going after my boy. It doesn't stop everything, but it does stop some. Now I've got him some bleed. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to break through his block after a while, but I think getting more blocks would be helpful right now. Gosh. I do have that, which really didn't help me at all. That one kind of did. Oh, that bleed. I definitely want my... Um, I have an opportunity. Okay, good. I managed to move down a little bit because of that. He died from bleed, which is really nice. Alright, now we just need to bring down his defense. Dealing unblocked damage by bleed equal to stack. Okay, that's what's kind of hurting me the most right now. He is doing 13. I'd rather stack the defense on everybody. Thing, even from the elite, uh, the buddy has become also more aggressive. Uh, six two seven has become more stubborn. All right, what do I want? I don't. If I grab another strength, then that will actually probably be better. Okay, okay. Yes, please. Deal two damage. Apply three. We re weak, randomly consume one card from your discard card. I don't know what that means. Or why that would be a, a thing. I can just go this way and do more damage. Uh, yeah, let's learn Strengthen for him. He can now upgrade pretty much everything. What is this? Instinct. So it starts, and this one is consumed. Put in the consume pile and being played. Basically, it's a zero cost, but it puts it in the burn pile. That's pretty much what it is. You can grab one of those. So um, I want to add more bleed. Like that is what I'm hoping. Apply two weak, six two six gains one strength. Consume one card. So he'll do weak as well as gain strength. Man, I don't, don't want to consume a card though. Do 
deal 10 damage. Strength is applied two times. I don't really have much there. I wanted him more to be a defensive character, so I'm, I'm gonna drop that. Ooh, wall of flesh. Uh, apply 10 block to all, gain two threaten. Apply eight block to all, apply three. We're gonna go with more block. All right, so what we're looking at here is a rest site. We definitely need to, uh, so we use, each feeding costs four pounds of flesh, which will later turn into our money. Okay. Yellow Droma. I've got that. That doesn't really help me. Guess we'll do that. We'll prepare then. That also doesn't really help me any. But I don't have any defensive cards now. You're stunned, so that's very helpful. We're gonna use you down there just to alleviate some of the damage potential. Okay. I, I added stun on both of them. That kind of helped out. Um, I don't. I do not want to consume cards. Taking unblocked damage, lose all fall, fly. Oh, okay, so that's what that means. So once he loses his all, all of that, he just basically just falls and then Still gonna take some damage, but it's not, it's not gonna hurt me. It's that bleed that really hurts me the most. Alright, that bleed. It's got three HP, so bleed. Go ahead and kill him off. Grant block to you. Okay, yeah, I can stun you this round. So I might as well just go ahead and do it. No discovered uh, intact limbs, though. Ooh, apply one vulnerable? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Alright, rest spot. This looks like to be the boss of the area, then. Oh! Draconis! Looks like you're trying to hit everybody with something. So first off, I'm definitely going to add some block. Quick reflexes. Didn't give me what I wanted. So we're going to add a week. Cripple. Take one extra damage and deal 10% less attack damage per stack. Uh, what is this? Clears if it has intact block at the end of turn. I will 
Retaliation? Tantrum? What? These are new cards. I didn't get what? This isn't going to help. Ah, this might. Good. No, I want toughen. Toughen will be better. You are now stunned. Oh, nope. We're going vulnerable. Then bleed. I definitely want to go ahead and add some more strengthen. Oh, God, I have to consume something. Nineteen. What have I got? I can. Quick reflexes. I don't really have. All right, saved his life, but now he is stunned, which really kind of sucks. I guess he's getting more blocks. Wind Drift. Gain a random card on start of turn. It costs one impetus more till end of turn. Auto Cannibalism. Consume a card from your hand. Draw three cards for each card consumed this way. Oh, that gets more bleed. Uh, Wall of Flesh would be, is pretty good. Thank you. That's a good stun. All right. Nope, I didn't get any of my zero cost cards. Quick okay. reflexes. I do want wall of flesh. Out for blood. Look at that. Deal eight damage, bleed three. Draw one card, gain three impetus. That didn't work though. Oh, I should have used that. But that's fine. I can, I can, I, I can kind of deal with that. We're gonna add more bleed. See if we can't draw a good card. Not really a good card, but we can do some. All right, see, he's got enough blocking. I like that. You can go down, and I'm gonna go ahead and bump up your. Yeah, might as well. Gain some retaliation, which would work. That really doesn't. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Stunned me, but that's fine. I need him to have the back. Um, 
Yeah. There we go. Apply 15 block if discarded, but he gains 10 block instead. Uh, deal damage equal to the number of cards in your consumed pile. That's, that's not bad. We're adding more bleed. Only playable as a last attack card in hand. Well, I have other attack cards. But I don't have enough impetus. Randomly consume up to three cards in your discard pile. Gains two charge for each card consumed this way. Gains six charge. Okay, that's good. Right. But nope, we are going to... Kill him! I, fa I even still fail to harvest anything? Oh my god. Strength supply two turns. Yep, that's what I want. Flail! Oh, that's really good. So sad though. I'm gonna go with Flail, because Vulnerable is really good. Quick reflexes. Ramp you there. I want more bleed. Please. I wanted more stubborn. I wanted more block skill. Right, we'll take with we'll take a rake. Oh, with zero cost? Yes, please. So I got 151 vellum. I got one new monster body. Looks like a monkey body. Ah, you're back. Yes, sir. That squad took a beating and we lost, but we have successfully completed the mission. Well, I'll be damned. You're one of the few who actually complete their first mission? You have talent, kid. Here's a little extra to spend on your new batch of creatures. Oh, so I can buy other parts too? You can return 626 and 627 to Miss Barnes there. Oh, I was liking them. Good luck, Private. I will be keeping my eyes on you. That means I need me a, a, a good defensive powerhouse. Hello, uh, Mrs. Barnes. This is Private Fisher. Oh my, you're as green as they come. Hello there. I'm Lieutenant Bernstein. Why do they call her Miss Barnes? Because she runs the Barnes. Okay, I get it. But as you know, everyone calls me Miss Barnes. Now, how can I help you? I was told by Major Singh to come here to register for Stable Space. All right, dearie, let me take your assigned slots. Just so you know, I also do with retired creatures from combat duty. What do they do when they retire? Uh, usually pull plows, run the electric wheels, or send messages throughout the city. All right, here we are. So I can, I'm gonna have to create. Grab the new body I got. I'm going to go with the lizard head this time, though. And I definitely still want the... Uh, no, I'll give him the regular tail, because I want him to be defensive. Slide. 
I don't want either one of those. Quick reflex. Wall of flesh, because we definitely want to make a good defensive type. Another wall of flesh. Give me another. Unyielding. That's good. I'd like to have the toughness, but I think unyielding would be better. I need to get... I don't really know. Let's head back. Ah, finally, off-duty. I could head over to the chop shop for some new parts. That's probably what I should have done before I made slime, but it's whatever. The Academy for new moves. Or I can slim down my move sets at the feud. Uh, we're going to go to the chop shop first. I would like to see what new parts that we've got. Welcome to the chop shop. All things are fresh from the wilds and straight from the chopping block. Anything in mind? Ah, I just finished my first mission, so I'm looking to expand my catalog. All right, have at it. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, what is that, a tiger rat head? A spined bison head, six to two forelegs, banded coon tail, mud beast forelegs, six to two head. I like that. I don't know what the, the six of two stuff is though. But that has a beak. I don't have very much money left. This is a, probably a small. Let's grab that one. Okay, no more money. What is the academy now? Ah, uh, welcome to the Academy. I haven't seen you around here before. Do? Yes, ma'am. Private Fisher. Well met, Fisher. You can call me Sergeant Rosie in public or just Rosie in private. Oh. I take care of this facility. Here we train and develop tactics for battle. If you need one of our your little friends trained, me or one of my team can help you out with that. Thank you, Rosie. Glad to be of help. Just remember that what your creature learns will lead to general specialization in that creature. Good luck. Go out there and make us proud. I will. Thanks, Rosie. Okay, so that does take a price. I, oh, I can give him... I can give him bloody already? Giving Buddy bloody. Um. Okay, so this basically just shows what I've got. I'm gonna go ahead and use because I need to go ahead and make. No, I want you. Thought I got some. Thought I did get the mud beast hind legs. Oh, they're they're considered large types. But because I don't have a large body, I can't even use them yet. Okay. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. He is going to be my clever guy, I think. Birdie, Nick, Bird, okay. It was going to be Birdie, Nick, Birdface, but that didn't work out. So we're just going to do Birdie. So we do have Peck. I'll definitely take some of that, but I need some. Uh, Alright, we're 
gonna grab a defense on you too. Okay, so we're I guess we just kinda need to go on to our next our next mission. Summerlay Forest Wetlands of the Mountains. We went to the forest last time. Now we go into the mountains and we do a uh, short quest. It's kind of an easy one, I think. The hunt, hunt, hunt. Alright, what do we have here? There is no unknown just yet. Grab a couple of easy, well, regular ones, and we go for the elite. I need to gain these guys now. So I do definitely still have, um... Yeah. Vulnerable is going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. It is a root owl. It's going to hit him more. Let's grab a strength. Still gonna do some damage to me, which kind of sucks, but not too much. That helps. We want to go ahead and take out this specific. Oh, I can't even do it. Okay, we're gonna do this one. Definitely gonna have there. I don't know specifically what it consumed there, but that's fine. Take that route. Vulnerable goes away pretty much immediately. Alright, Birdie has turned into a more aggressive type. I don't really want that, but we'll deal with it. Learn, lean and mean. At the start of combat, Birdie gains 2 strength, reduce max HP by 5. That's not too bad. I'll take that. I want them to be kind of a common type, but I mean, I'll get other stuff later on to do that. Alright, who are you attacking? You're attacking... It helps me better. Alright, you're... I'm gonna 
go there. Close that. Okay. Still a nine. We're gonna add ready. Kind of build up some block, you know, do what kind of needs to be done. So I guess this just kind of is passive. Has effects that trigger outside of or at the start of combat. So it can't be made. So it, it can't be played. No other attack cards are mine as well. My attack. Definitely need more. Bam! Oh, I probably should have used the back. That's fine. And dead because of bleed! Oh, well, there you go. That's some new boss parts. Okay. Actually, yes. I want more vulnerable. Here's, oh, it probably goes through Ignore's block. I don't really care so much about that. I guess I want that one. Draw a card. We are trying to add as much vulnerable as possible. Alright, what do we got? We'll add a quick reflexes in there. Okay. Definitely some vulnerable. I'm gonna add some good nets and strength up so I can do that. Um, yes. Gains four strength, but he loses five health. Why would I want that? Oh, this. Uh... I'll go that way. Unyielding. I definitely like that. Ooh, gain three counters. Yes, sir. I don't want consumed. Why am I getting consumed? Too weak, but he gains one strength. I might as well do that so I can grab some strength out of it. Okay, you guys are getting a whole bunch of that. So I might as well just buff up buddy right now.
got her doing some work there, bud. So I get to consume that one. Because I don't need it. Right, what have I got? I can do that. Add a vulnerable. Okay, that doesn't even really work. Vulnerable goes away at the end of turn. That kind of sucks. Quick reflex. There it is. My deck is. Down. I got it. Um, that'll help. Okay, you're dead. I think I accidentally got rid of all of my my attacks. Except for Pat. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I did. I... So I guess I just need to... Don't get rid of... You got rid of Peck. Yeah, basically got rid of all my attack cards. Unyielding. I need to try to keep unyielding. So I can do this. What do I what do I have in there? Quick reflex, that's fine. We're gonna take one of those. I wanna keep unyielding. I want to bring up this counter so we can actually do something. Thank you. Okay, that doesn't discard there. This is going to be a long slog. I definitely screwed up here. Doesn't help me any. Alright, so if I do one and I attack. Why did it just get rid of? It was supposed to draw that. Oh. 
you absolutely. All right, it's just gonna be chop until I'm dead. I really kind of screwed my pooch on this one. But I got it in the end. Wow. Okay, Sly has become more stubborn. Randomly consume one card from discard pile. Bloody gains one toughness. Consume one card. I don't. I want to retrain that. I don't want those. That. Um. That one. Beefy. Relentless March. Deal six damage. Draw one card. Oh, strike. Oh, definitely. More block. What's the difference? This one. Nine block, gain three counter, draw one card. Nine block, gain three counter, draw one card. Oh, that's consumed. I'm gonna go that route. Wall of flesh. Oh, definitely. What do you owe? I want more of that. Heck! Deal eight damage. Well, oh, that's that's a two though. Okay. Thanks to the vulnerable. Very nice indeed. Oh, this doesn't really help me too much. Got that. Got me some strength. Strengthen, vulnerable, and dead. Ooh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got some bird parts. Definitely want the counter. Please, I want more. Deal one damage two times. Apply vulnerable. Three damage. Let's see if go that route. Lean and mean. Fred gains three strength and loses one toughness. Reduce max HP by one. Um, at the start of combat, Birdie gains three strength and reduce max HP by seven. Take that one. My boy. My boy. Looks like Buddy's about to level up, though. Oh, okay. I can grab some counter. Oh, bloody. Right, we're gonna do that. They're all hitting. I've got counter. Go there. Oh, 
vulnerable. I'm still gonna get hit, but I don't think that's gonna be From the boss area, this is fine. I can practically. Defensive-wise, it doesn't help me. Grab me that. I'll take the two hit there. Massively screwing me. So Sly is now dead. Here, guys. Oh, I, I gotta consume something. There. Dying from that. So I don't have to worry too much about it. Um, grab me a vulnerable. Look at Gore doing its work. Randomly consume one card from the discard pile. Don't have anything in there. to Sly? Is he like dead dead? Consume all of the cards in hand. Deal 5 damage from each card. That sucks. Rapid dash. Deal 8 damage if you discard a card this turn. I think that one. Strengthen. Oh, that's a retain. I'd rather have that one. I don't mind losing some health. Ooh, whenever Birdie attacks this turn, it gains two block. That's pretty good. Especially with all the scratch, scratches. Yep, that one works. 
looks like I have a, I do have a pretty big body now, though, though. What do I have? Yeah, okay, so that means he's dead dead. Aww. Okay, but I do have some... Ha-ha! Okay, let's see... Big Al. Deal four damage, return one random card with the lowest cost and discard your hand. Definitely, that's really good. Um, I'd rather have the counter. We'll go toughen, because I definitely need toughen. almost an hour and 30 minutes here guys um yeah so so oh bog beaver body Ooh, I, don't I don't have any money i don't have any money at all uh so um this has been corpseman uh multi-cell thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to display your game uh hi i like it I think it's really good. Um, a couple of things that I would probably tweak here and there, but, um, ooh, apply $8, Scout 3. Big Al needs some dodge. Sorry, sorry, I saw dodge and I was like, yes, that's my dodge guy. Okay, so, we are, um, I'm gonna be playing more of this. I got a couple more things coming up today. Uh, hopefully this week I've got some new games. I probably shouldn't have uh, bought them, but I wanted to showcase some cool things. But I am going to be playing more of this. This is really fun. Uh, I can't see, can't wait to see some of the other bodies like Poison. I want to know what Poison does. Uh, I definitely would like to see more. Um, I don't know elemental stuff. Because you've already got the birds, you got charges. I don't know what charges do yet. I'd like to see what that does. So there's still lots of things that I haven't even touched on in an hour and 23 minutes. So let me know what you thought in the comments, uh, and I will get back with some more of this. And hopefully, Buddy's gonna gonna rock hard, right? Until then, be kind to each other, and I'll see you in the next video.